Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Galactic New Horizons Season 2. And uh, if you remember, last episode we finished, uh, actually, we finished half of our uh, ore processing, but during that time I realized something. I'm doing too much crafting, and uh, yeah, it's a bit hassle. So, this episode. I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to make an auto crafting area. Yeah, an auto crafting area. Uh, by the way, a small note: we we updated to Great Tech New Horizons 2.6.0. Uh, there are some good changes, by the way, and amazing changes. First, Angelica. Uh, an optifying replacement that based on sodium and yeah those kind of things uh, there are some small bugs uh, here and there uh, some lighting issues etc I'm uh, but I'm not that uh, bothered by it if they happen more and more I will probably do something about that second Logistics Pipes got an amazing update. Uh, the blank modules. We used to need to craft uh, the Project Red version of it. To get this. Now we don't. <laughs> and also the last used items on NEI search. So NEI is become more, uh, more and more like JEI. Also. Uh, by the way, you, as you can see, we need uh, added one more item uh, chassis pipe here to connect here because uh, items are getting out of hand. And yeah, there. Okay, uh, this happened a bit more. Yeah, and also we have a route there, a route there. Yeps. Yep. Yep. What is yeps? Yep. We have a corridor here and a room. A small room. That room is going to be our auto crafting area. <coughs> Basic auto crafting area. And I already put a, a logistic pipe network here. But if you can and clearly see. We also have another pipe network Co coming from here to everywhere else. And also this, but it's not that important right now. But this guy. And this guy is going to be much, much, much more a uh, bigger problem in the future. So what we're going to do is well, uh, what we're going to do is, is really interesting. Let me just show you. First, I got fluid provider pipe and a lot of unrooted pipe and some basic pipes. Okay, and some sleep. Also, we died twice. <laughs> That's why my level is changed. I dropped. And something just decided to... Oh, I need to repair my bolts. Thank you, witch, for dying. And... Okay. That died too. Again? Ooh. Is it you? Is it you? And why I'm keep missing? Okay. No, it's not him. Uh, oh, and a creeper. And I'm out of thingies. And I suck at aiming. Anyway, uh, after some uh, lightning strikes, yeah. 
What? Where are you? Where did you come from? And why are you in my house? Chicken? Ram... Okay. I really hate... You die too. And uh, by the way, I did the doors and windows right before a... Uh, what was it? Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Yeah. Right before a Blood Moon. Anyway, uh, actually, let's uh, repair these guys. And uh, you need Wanadium Steel. Wanadium Steel. Let's take four. I hope it's enough. Because I might need to do more Wanadium Steel. Eventually. And is my... Oh, I need to upgrade my sword too. Yeah. Okay, come here. And... I'm going to put... A moss on this guy. Eventually. Because we are, gonna, we are using them a lot. Also, I... Turn this guy into a gas turbine. Uh, so, no more steam for power. Oh, the only thing that uses steam around here is this guy. And I have some plans for it. Anyway, <laughs> let's go here. And let's connect this guy to here. This. And we will have to do this. Unrooted pipes. And come to here. And it... What? Did I miss somewhere? Unlit? I shouldn't. Let's look at everywhere because... It shouldn't happen. I sh I do believe I lit everywhere, but let's look at here. It's lit. Yeah, everywhere seems to be lit. Why I'm having zombies? That's uh, that, that's strange, but anyway. Uh, let's pipe places a bit more and yeah and it's connected yeah and let's come here and to do do what uh, by the way, I have one more thing that this area is ugly. This area is super ugly and I'm going to handle this in a really professional way. Yeah, uh, luckily we have our thingies here and all I need to do is one basic transport pipe here. Not here. Let's come here. Basic transport pipe. And fluid provider pipe again. And this guy. And connect this to here. And I need one more pipe. Yeah. Uh, we are still using some pipes, but pipe, a uh, small potion fleet pipe, just one. And we have grass. Oh yeah, uh, we do not have any power yet at the moment, so I forget that part. Anyway, <laughs> uh, small potion fluid pipe, thank you. Let's fix the, fix the power issue here. And... Voila. 
And we should have power now. Okay, everything is lit. And with that, I just need to do something else. That. Okay, we put a pipe there. Yeah. But what we are going to do with it? It's actually quite simple. All we need to do is, for example, let's actually take this pipe here. Yeah, this pipe network. And there's a basic pipe. Actually, let's fix this area a bit more and basic pipe. And what we need is another fluid, uh, another pipe, fluid supplier. Yes. And with that, we're just going to put this into here. And I'm going to need some buckets. And uh, not buckets, but you get it. And it sells. Let's take those and supplier come here. I'm going to need some buckets always there. And as you can see, we have seven and that configuration kind of messed things up. It should now pull the rest. Or... Yeah, it's pulling the rest. Yeah, uh, but I will move it to this. It's on. It only will refill it when it's lower than five buckets. So yes, but I'm not going to use this. Uh, approach directly this was a temporary solution what i'm going to do is i will put a, a tank around here and it will go around this and also a tank here and here so every area will have its own small tank and it will be fed by those tanks. So, uh, but it's currently working. And I did this to show logistics pipes can carry the fluids too. And carry them really good. Anyway, uh, we will redo this part. And for the fluid carrying thing... We will actually add a fluid storage area too. So, uh, as you can remember, we have an oxygen tank here, a hydrogen tank here, some chlorine tank here, etc. etc. But they are everywhere, and so we are going to use them a lot of different places. So, uh, it will be a hassle. Now, after we handle that part, let's go to our this area. Yeah, this area will be something interesting, but we need first a tank. Uh, which tank? Actually, I can use this tank for now. Yeah, let me just do that. Thank you. And with that, let's unroute the logistics pipes and one basic pipe here. Why I'm using basic pipes? Because they do not, uh, they can route things uh, between themselves. Okay, we have a lot of chassis pipes, fleet uh, supplier pipe, that's important. And a lot of machines. First, 
We're gonna do our energy. And let's come here. Put 16 buckets and just uh, replenish when you need two buckets. And uh, after a small amount of time, we will see some fluids coming here. And we are waiting and waiting. Ah, they are here. Good, we have benzene here. <laughs> now, <clears throat> to use this benzene, we are going to get our gas turbine. Actually, I put the power generation above. I guess so. I guess so. So, I need a ba battery buffer. Battery buffer. Let me handle this part and we will move, move with the rest. Okay, and while we are uh, doing st some s this, guys, I realized something really interesting, by the way. And I will show you that. But imports, yes. Also, I'm going to place those guys to here. And can I put you here? Yes. Thank you. And yeah. Our benzene stock uh, keeps uh, stocking. And let me just do this. Okay. And by the way, I do not want to partially fill because, yeah, that's something I don't want to. Anyway, this part is ready. Anyway, uh, what was I? What did I realize? Is uh, let me just put those electrical steel to here. It's medium voltage and it carries two ampere, and. If I caught it, it only losses one EU per meter. So it's actually a better use case scenario for me than uh, an oiled copper. Uh, so let's uh, go to here. Now, the basic assembler, you are the last one. First, let's go with our uh, SM uh, banding machine. Actually, yeah, I think that might be better. Yeah, let's go. I'm just planning something. Okay. Uh, two sides should be okay. And wire mill. Come here. And after that, extruders. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Not like this. Okay. Six. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this should be enough for... Actually, oh yes, uh, we crashed. Return to main menu. Yeah, the, the, there is some uh, instabilities that still happens with this guy. And I can put those guys to there. Okay, this is ready, and also, I want one more thing. This guy, and I should have a transformer. No, transformer. Transformer. 
Global Touch Transformer. Thank you. That was that's what I was looking for. Okay. And with that, it actually should turn. Okay, and assembling machines are sh will be a bit different, but let's go the same way. And get the power here. Now, what we are going to do is wait for the... Actually, I have medium sol sodium batteries. Thank you. And el electrical uh, steel wire. And just uh, 2x is enough for us. And I'm gonna need more, uh, let, actually I cannot take 32 because, oh wait, uh, they I have some issues, yeah, and let me just get this, thank you, and you guys here. And why you are not getting quoted, ah, you also need Either this or this, yeah. I wasn't planning on that. But electrical steel should be, uh, foil should be okay. Let's go 10 and give me one set of electrical steel foil. Thank you. And are you... Mountain silicone rubber. You need silicone rubber. Okay, uh, I cannot do that. Uh, we fly too fast, guys. We fly too fast. Anyway, uh, let's get the old friend. Yeah. How many do I need? I need a lot, actually. Yeah, I need a lot. For... Yeah. My old friend Copper, come here. Okay, uh, let's... By the way, you are... Okay, medium voltage to low voltage, okay. And did I put you guys here? No. You guys should be providing power. Yeah, they are. And with that, those are medium voltage. Yeah, no boom. No boom is good. No boom is nice. No boom is what we need. And also these. Again, no boom. And did I hear something, or it was my imagination? Anyway. And we have a zombie around here. Uh, it seems I have something going on around here. But I have to investigate. Or I can just use monster repellers like any other player okay and yeah our power is going on here and we just need to by the way we are using just one uh, assembling machine yeah at the moment we will add more but i just wanted to get the basics first and the pipe, the best way of uh, getting some pipes here should be, yeah, around here. Basic pipe, unrotted pipe, thank you. Basic pipe, and that should be 
I will have we put one more basic pipe here because we might end up doing something with it. And voila, everything is connected. And what we need is the crafting modules now. And those guys, can I duplicate you? Uh, not yet. So we still gonna need. Yeah, I cannot duplicate you yet. Uh, can I do that? No, we are gonna need aluminium brass. And the what's the cheapest way of making aluminium brass? I think this aluminium and copper. Okay. Uh, Jan, just let me actually borrow uh, things for now. I will borrow this first and actually do this. Oh, which one should be? Yeah, you should be this. And I have my crafting modules. Yeah. That's the actual star. Uh, by the way, they are seems like they seem expensive, but they are actually cheap because they give five per uh, recipe. And what we're gonna do is steal ingots, one normal uh, great tech steel ingots, and not electrical skill steel man. Yeah. Just one, okay. And steel, sm uh, small steel gear. Okay, the ratio should be one to one. And if I put this guy here, I should have something interesting in my inventory, uh, the system. Steel gear. Yes, it shows zero. But let's say let's request four. And look at here. It is it done already? No, not yet. Ah, it's going here. Yeah. That's all. That's all we need to do now. Now, a uh, small aluminium gear and some small uh, aluminium in ingots. Let's put on the one. And voila. Now it should give us. Let's look at the gear. Yep. We can see this guy too. So let's, for example, try to craft something that uses gear. Yeah, most likely. Thank you. And it's going to uh, send Aluminiums to here. We will see eventually. Yes. And come here. Let's come here. We are about to receive this guy. Yes. <laughs> yep. That, that's our auto crafting system. And for the assembler, why I am making the assembler? Ah, that's the fun part, by actually. And electrical motor, uh, not EV, LV. Yes. And uh, you need iron rods, magnetic iron rods, copper wire, and tin cable. Iron rods. You need two, magnetic iron rod one, copper wire four, 
and team cable one and you will give us one and if i put this guy here i can get i cannot craft it because <laughs> we already have it it was a bad example but uh let's look at the recipe yes it's the exact same thing just here so yes we can basically automate this stuff relatively easily i also need to add yeah uh, polarizer and uh, the rubber uh, cable parts is still not automated i will have to provide that myself for now uh event Eventually, it will be also automated. Also, what I'm planning to do is... This machine is going just for... Uh, the motor motors. One just for the... Uh, actually, let's look at the... You're gonna hate these uh, quest lines. Yeah. One for the motors. One for the pumps. One for the pistons. One for the conveyor modules. And one for the robot arms. Maybe I'm not gonna. Uh, I might not be bothered with conveyor modules because they are super easy to make. But yes, and for all of those, actually, I'm gonna need six. Yeah, aluminium brass. Aluminium brass. Actually, let's look at aluminium brass. Aluminium and copper dust. Three aluminium and one copper. Okay, let's get 16 and aluminium. One, two, three. And four. We are getting kicked again. Something is going on with the latest version, uh, either with it or the my server configuration but i sometimes got kicked out i have to solve why is it and yeah uh it's not should be a pink issue because uh the server is in my best basement the server is literally in my ba basement so I shouldn't have a connection problem to it. Do you require a higher voltage thingy? Yep, you require higher voltage. So, let's do the old fashioned way. And just. Oh, we have just the right amount okay let me just do the duplicates and we will be right back and we are just making those guys the easy way a uh, small gear you can be here because i already stole you rotor is one of the most important ones bolt is important rod is the most important and this guy yeah and we are just going to place everything here actually i will need one more wire mill and one more vending machine so yeah that too roads come here and let's take make you bold this here and Ring. Yeah, this should be okay. And let's look at it. You do you, how many? Me. Okay. Uh, nine. Uh, the loss should be in okay. And we forget something else. Redstone alloy wire. Or it's redstone alloy wire. Okay, we have one. 
and that guy should be enough for us for now. Let's hope now we have no boom. And yeah, we have no boom. Yeah, the, the, this is the basics of R. And you will be one, and you will be one. Yeah, this is the basics of our uh, crafting area. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, come to think of it, we just do. No, not, no, it's not worth it. When we are going to replace things, we can do that. Anyway, we just need to teach this guy some recipes. So, uh, steel. Come here. I'm getting this because I'm I kind of sick of uh, searching for the. Actually, we need. It. Actually, we don't use casings that much. So, uh, that, that's something. And with that, we will get this. And we teach steel rods to our system. And let me just teach everything uh, urgent to here. Okay, we teach the most basic things uh, to our system. And what we're gonna need to do is... Do more assembling machines. Yeah, uh, we're gonna do more assemblers. And assembling machines. By the way, why I am using the assembling machines instead of uh, thingy majiggies? Yeah, the, the logistics pipes own. Uh, uh, by the way, actually, this is much more. Yeah, this is much more cheaper. Why I'm not. Uh, use that. Why did I didn't I use that before? Anyway, steel plates. Let's take any four. Let's make three more assembling machines. By the way, I have to make more uh, crafting modules, also more chassis pipes. But you get the rest. Okay, now. Polyethylene, thank you. And do I have any tin wire? A tin cable, yes. Let's take six. That should be enough for now. And this, is the system a bit slower now? No, I'm I'm about to get kicked. Okay, I didn't get kicked. I t but anyway, uh, the new version has some issues. Okay, this should be okay. And low voltage machine hall. Now, after that, we need basic assembling machines. And you're gonna need... Actually, let's look at it. Most likely, robot arm and... A conveyor module. Okay. Let's make the conveyor module first. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five should be enough. Thank you. And next is robot arm. Do you have anything missing? Two. Three. Okay. We can make two. That's actually something because I we that means we can do this. We can automate this guy. And what is missing? Okay, you should be all okay. Why ah we are waiting for these guys. Yo, sorry, sorry. I need some kind of indicator for it. And yeah, two of these guys. And rest should be 
just this. Integrated logic circuit and voila! One more basic assembler and we're gonna code a robot arm with it. Uh, the wrong type of cable. Yeah, we are gonna need redstone alloy cable. <laughs> redstone alloy cable. Let's take eight. For now. We will add more. Uh, actually, come to think of it, I can could just put one of them directly to the uh, thingy magic the transformer. Not the Optimus Prime version, but you get it. You get the joke. Okay. Now, let's... Uh, by the way, actually, I could use that pipe uh, uh, cable too, but it shouldn't be optimal. Uh, it wouldn't be optimal. Okay. Now, also the logistics pipe. And for you, I will code... You, which requires, and you guys are gone. Steel plate, tin wire, and this. Okay. One, one, two, three, and one. Let's look at it. Yes. Ah, two. And you will give us this guy. And now we teach our system to craft robot arms. Most likely. And we need more team cable. But you get the idea. And yeah, tin 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 mini hanam tin tin. 64, I will just use the cheap way, cheap and fast way for this guy. And what is the cheap and fast way? It's this. It's just this. Yeah. And the rest comes. Wait. Why do you say you're missing a tin wire? A tin cable? Okay. Anyway, we're waiting for this guy to finish. Okay, one comes and the other should come eventually. It's not working. Uh, it's not doing anything. Ah, okay. Two here. What? You have tin cable here. Ah. In the system. You need in the system. I forgot that part. Okay. Now this should be enough. And after that, we, we can easily finish our last two assemblers and then we will make more crafting modules and finish our auto crafting area for now by the way you just saw how things fly by and and one more steel rod yes yeah <laughs> It's super fun, guys. It's really fun. One and the last set should be here. Thank you. And the assemblers. And two. Thank you. It's not as fast as Applied Energy Sticks. Uh, it's not robust as it, but it's fun. Okay, the, the one conveyor module, we need to, to request that too. And yeah, with that, we also just need to add one more cable, one more cable, and yeah, 
that system is ready. Our auto crafting system is this. Nothing more, nothing less. It's not the most fanciest thing in the world, but it's it does the job. Uh, okay, what was I saying before the phone rings? Yeah, uh, this is, I think this is a good uh, point to end the episode. Uh, after that, I'm planning to finish this area, but I might also do some magic break. Magical break, because actually, uh, after I think about it, finishing this area also re gonna require me a fluid storage area too. So yeah, uh, that and that, etc, etc. It's something. Anyway, uh, this is Scrafty Scrafty, and have a nice day.